Hey guys, I want to introduce you to Johnny. Hi friend. This is uh, Johnny Cougar Melon Cat. What else? Actually, I don't think cats like questions. I know. True. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Cougar. That's right, John. That's it. Johnny was born with something called cerebral hypoplasia or something where he had fluid in his head. So his balance was a little off and is also amazing. Hey, thanks for the comments. Um, it's interesting. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm like sitting here thinking like I'm reading your comments. Uh, Mayanna and Chris Conway. And thinking like, well, Chris, I've known you for so long. Kind of like I don't really know you that well because I don't think we've really ever talked much. We just chatted like text. And Mayanna, it's like the first comment I've ever really seen from you, I think. If I haven't seen it before, I didn't realize. And like, I'm thinking about like video, video responses, you know? I think I went into it with a little bit of selfishness before. Like I wanted video responses because I wanted to be popular, because I wanted my videos to get seen. But it was like a good intention because I wanted what I thought was a good message to get out there. But it's weird asking people to support you. But if you don't ask, it won't happen. So support me. But really, it's not, it's not on some level. You know, I support you, you support me, we support each other. We make a good team. I'm thinking about these video responses and how, like, if you make a video about a topic that I'm talking about and put your two cents in or your, your concept in, people are going to see that, that like you, that don't necessarily like me. So we can reach multi-dimensional facets of humanity. And this is the importance of video responses or at least multiple videos about uh, the same topic from all of us. This is how we reach just massive amount of people. I, I, I saw, you'll see like, you'll make a video and you'll be like about something, you know, you're passionate about, what do you think? make a response, respond to me on video, and you get like 18 responses or something. And then all of a sudden those 18 responses have like hundreds of views and responses each, like comments, or then they get video responses to that. And it's the way to do a revolution. You know how the governments are cracking down about like, they don't want people out on the streets screaming and banging on shit and breaking car windows. They don't want that. Nobody wants that, really, except for, you know, angry people that want to vent. But, like, they, we have to revolve on the Internet. I think it's the only way um, or, or the most effective way. You know, I'm in the comfort of my home right now and somehow getting a message out to the world. Uh, I went to Occupy Wall Street last year, like a year and a half ago, and it was a huge crowd of people that were all kind of just misconglomerated. It, it was a great thing, like a bunch of people are standing their ground, obviously. You know, I come from a society where I played a lot of video games and got to eat whatever I wanted, so it wasn't like I had to fight for my freedom. So the, the idea of like mass gatherings, that's very powerful. And if it comes down to it, we have to do that. But we can, we're the brain. We can create a global revolution in the consciousness. We did it in 2006, 2007, 2008. You see people in Egypt doing it right now as a result of the groundwork that we lay. And if we have to get out on the street, we're going to do it. We're fortunate to have the technology to be able to do this. You know, 
words and everything like that can only go so far. The emoting thing's kind of crazy, although, you know, as much as you want. What do you think? You know, chime in. I want to, what do I want? I want to fix the world, but what does that mean really, you know? The genericness, I think it's the time for genericness is coming to a close. And the time for specifics is here. Uh, 3D printing, I want to print food and oil. I want to throw dirt into a 3D printer and have it molecularly print oil. or apples, um, stem cell meat growth, that's here now. So we don't have to kill animals, we don't have to pen them up and feed them for six years before we you know, spend a million dollars feeding one cow so we can kill it. Not Obviously not quite a million, but thousands of dollars feeding one cow so that you can kill it and sell it for burgers. It's like how much, you know, what a waste of oil, time, resource, water, when you can just grow the meat in a lab. And I think, you know, from what I read, uh, 8,000 BC when people started cultivating uh, like, you know, farming and stuff, it was like seen as an abomination to a lot of people because it was like if you didn't get the fruit from that tree that grew naturally, if you like planted it yourself and grew it, that was like as disgusting to people as like genetically modifying food and like the unnaturalness of growing meat in a petri dish but then you know over time people got realized that well it's still an apple grown just I grew it so like the whole growing meat thing it's still meat it's just you grow it yourself and I mean that's how we'll have meat in space and it's not that I don't I think that eating meat is really good for you in small amount or in the right amount is extremely part of our evolution it's got us to where we are and it will get us further but the whole, the grossness of penning up these animals and bloating them out with steroids to feed more, it's unnecessary and the world and the violence is going to subside when we stop doing it. The bloodlust that comes from eating meat, I don't know yet. It's a hard to answer the question of what's going to happen. But then at the same time, what's going to happen is what we say is going to happen. use your help man thanks for being there so I look forward to your response and if you make a video in response to this and I don't respond to you that's kind of bullshit on my part but you'll you'll see as you make videos and you start to get responses it's really amazing and it's good for you and then all of a sudden you get you you enjoy it even more and you get more responses and then you're like Jesus Christ I have to go do fill in the blank and you're like, ah, oh, but I have two more video responses, and then tomorrow you're like, oh, now I've got another two, and then I've got four, and you're like, oh, God, I, I, one of these video responses is 15 minutes long. Uh, I can watch it, I think, and then you're distracted by work or whatever, and you're like, I got to, I... But we can do our best, which is to, to listen to as many people as we can, balance it out, because I don't think any one of us is supposed to lead, necessarily. I mean, we're all leading each other hand by hand, obviously someone's going to stand in front, someone's going to stand in back, but, you know, we all have our points and our reasons and our positions of power. What's your position of power? Ah? Okay, so I want to show you what Johnny does. Johnny plays string game. This is the string. That's the Johnny. Oh God. Johnny wanna play? But Johnny, say goodbye to everyone. Tell them your favorite thing. <laughs>